Hello everybody, Chris DeBear here. It's apparently some indiscriminate country's birthday weekend. Happy Independence Day? For who? For not me. <laughs> but we're gonna go out here and drink a celebrity anyway. So we're gonna go with some treats, we're gonna go with some drinks, maybe in a couple bites or two. We'll bring you along with us. So here we have one of Walt Disney World's July 4th treats. Uh, we're celebrating independence. I don't know for who. Definitely not the, the minorities of us in this country. But I'm gonna eat and party all the same. Uh, so you offer me sticky ribs. I've had some mixed experiences with ribs here on the Old Disney World property. Some more horrifying than others. I, I will retain my shade because I'm just shaving that, that shade for other people at this point. Uh, but I'm excited. The meat is fall off the bone even as you pick it up. Got a nice color to it. You got some nice green onions on top. It does come with a mango slaw. Obviously, I did not get that because I want to live. But uh, I am excited for this. I have high hopes. Caribbean has yet to let me down. I'm hoping it's their own ribs for me. I need another bite. Now it's an orange sticky glaze, which really comes through. It's definitely sticky. Bonds in the meat, the green onions are a nice touch. It's got a little bit of char on it, which I like, and it literally fall off the bone. These are some good ribs. I would say a hair above the ribs I got from Hoopy. The Who to be reviewed if you haven't seen that video. There'll be a link somewhere in that mysterious box below. Uh, but these are good. They're not the best ribs I've ever had, but they are pretty close. I would give these a four and a half out of five parts. Now, they also come with a crispy tostones. And it is definitely crispy. I hope this is better than, than anything else we've had as far as the side here. Let's, uh, I have no idea to expect here, honestly. Oh my god. Mmm. Crispy, warm, delicious, lightly salted. Humbler? I gotta eat these on their own. Four out of five plus. Overall, if this is ever come back on the menu for like a July outside of July 4th, buy them. Buy them now. It's the Stars and Stripes, but we're not starsing and stripesing it for America this year. Even though this drink is very coconut forward, you can taste the syrups and it's actually really good. I like the flavor even though it's really coconutty. I wouldn't proactively drink this myself because of how coconutty it is. But if you like coconut, you're gonna like this. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five Americas. I can feel America in this drink. The layers in this drink look about as unbalanced as our uh, legal system right now. Yes, I'm gonna keep throwing shade for as long as you guys keep following us. I'm, I'm not sorry, but uh, the stars and stripes, I don't drink to thee, but this time we drink to the women. You don't have a uterus, you don't get an opinion. No, it's not bad. Coconut to a bounce with the raspberry puree, and then you have blue caraco and a huge curacao. You have a huge chunk of pineapple. It's not as pretty as was advertised in the photo they're selling it from, but the flavors are there. So I'll, this time, I will give it a pass. Three and a half out of five plus. 
We got the Kraken Punch. Kraken is all vegan. Punchy and licory. I quite like it. It's a good specialty drink. Uh, Banana Cabana is one of my favorite bars on Disney property, so I'm here for this. And it, it, it feels like it could be America still. Four to five Krakens. When I say release the Kraken, I mean release the Kraken. Now I'm not going to say that there exists a photo of me wrapped in an American flag robe drinking a bottle of Kraken, but I'm also not going to say there isn't a photo that exists of that somewhere. I was 21. I like Kraken rum. This is another spiced rum. It's similar to like a, a Sailor Jerry. I'm not feeling like the cranberry juice concoction on top of it. It's not, it's not working for me. I feel like it could be better. Two and a half out of five plus. Managed to find cake pops that are fireworks celebrating the colonization of the land. We're gonna live with the land. We are truly living with the land right now. Everything's gone. It's um. Like a lemon like buttercream and red velvet. So it's not cream cheese that I'm afraid of. There's some nice layers in it. It's pretty tasty. As far as the uh, pops go. I get cake from it. I feel a bit small. But I suppose for $5.50, I'm splitting hairs. Three out of five claws. And as for the one that represents the Blood of the people, literally. Exact same inside. There's a different outer candy shell. Color makes no difference in the taste. Also given that one a three out of five plus. As we fail to find more America things for 4th of July, I got me a Jameson and Ginger double short. They really know how to make a Jameson and Ginger at Rose and Crown. Four out of five Jamesons. So what's up? As sure as the princess will buy a new set of ears, we will stop at Rose and Crown for a drink. Of course, I got a black and tan. I'm mixing it up with my usual black velvet. Just as smooth and dark. Not like me at all. Four to five plus. <laughs> America, why are you always out of everything? We came to the America Pavilion. They had one option available and it's also out. So yes. we're striking out again. And still nothing. Pantway for the princess. No, so. it's not. So here we have probably the last treat we're gonna find. We have gone around all World Showcase, we found nothing plant-based. They've been out of a couple things and we got like some things. So this is the 4th of July liege waffle. Uh, a brioche waffle with star flavored red, white, and blue sugar and a blue Mickey in the middle. Now it's very confusing because they sell a liege waffle at Connections Cafe. Uh, they don't sell it over there. The Liege Waffle for 4th of July is at Starbucks. 
you can see them making it like in the like pastry corner here in the cafe, but it, it's a Starbucks item and not a connection food, which, which is odd. I'm sure there were reasons. The line for connections is a lot longer than it is for Starbucks. You get a waffle in the sleeve with uh, no whipped cream, which is what I didn't like about the last one. There's a lot of stars on that, a lot of stars. There's, I guess the waffle could count as stripes. I am not excited about this in the least. But we commit to our mistakes. I'm gonna smell Mickey here. It's a very sharp waffle. You feel every single one of those stars. You can definitely tell the brioche, which is also ice. So in addition to the candy, you actually have ice, icing, holding the stars on. It's a nice flavor. It's a nice little snack. Um, it doesn't feel as fresh as a Lee's waffle from Connections. It's a bit like it's been sitting. It's a cold waffle. Uh, it's an interesting snack, but I would say the Lee's waffle at Starbucks, or at the Connections Cafe, is better than this. I don't know why they made the decision to make it like not a fresh waffle. It's very like a cold, slightly iced waffle with sugar stars on it. I don't understand the logic on it, but I guess happy 4th of July to everybody, not a woman or a minority, but yeah, no, I'm not stopping, but I'm probably not going to. Uh, two and a half out of five claws? It's meh. A lot of meh. So we have traveled the great Epcot area, resorts and parks to find you July 4th treat. Like next to none. And it's been kind of disappointing. There's been very little plant-based and a princess to try. I did alternative things, so there's at least that. But we're gonna go onwards to the Sprites. can hear the song in your head because I'm not singing it. Either way. Uh, so, it is a sizable eclair with the edible American flag, some cream there, we got some little candies on the inside. I'm assuming there's apples on the end here. We're gonna eat it from the other end. There's no cool way to eat eclair, so we don't care. It's like if you took the American staple of apple pie and made it an eclair. And it actually works. I'm actually not mad at it. Got a nice apple flavor without being overpowering. It bounces well with the icing. The flag and decoration doesn't really add anything flavor wise, but it's a fun dessert. I give it three and a half out of five plus.
What's more American and independent say than cheeseburger? You take cheeseburger, you make it Canadian. Because we love stealing things from other countries. Yep, that's more shade. Still not mad about it. You got a nice helping of cheeseburger, you got relish. We have a little bit of bacon in here. We got tomato. They were out of um, ketchup and they were out of lettuce, which is an odd thing to be out of at Disney Springs. But cheers, anyone. Anyway. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like a McDonald's bacon cheeseburger in poutine form. Truth in advertising, good flavor, good punch. I would say this is the first time we've gotten poutine where I felt like everything was significantly covered. It's, it's not gonna win any awards, but my stomach will cheer. Four and a half out of five plus. So that's it for our early July 4th treats on July 3rd. I guess you guys will be seeing us on July 4th. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July yes. for those who actually have rights. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really not going to stop. But no, uh, we like the treats that they had. I wish they had more plant-based options like Agreed. every sort of event we have here at Disney. Uh, there's far too many sweets, not enough plant-based stuff, and traveling far too far to get it. We went Agreed. to Epcot Resort area, Epcot, and you see what we got. And they're out of a lot of things. You got to get here early if you want event treats. Yeah, we Those things go fast. But if there's anything you guys think that we missed or any other treats you want us to try seasonally, I believe the uh, Florida Festival is coming up here. Disney Springs wants to try that. Like Let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see us do, that's also going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. I like this video. And if you don't comment, I'm pretty sure Bear's gonna eat himself into this beautiful spring right here. Looks like my Awa. But you heard the girl. Freedom and independence. Do with that all American institution of freedom and independence. Rock and roll!